We're back with Winston, and he shaved off his unibrow because he didn't like it that much. But now Winston is going to a party, and he wants a party hat. So what could we use to make a party hat? Well, what I want to do is show you how to use the triangle function because we haven't used that before. So let's try making a hat out of a triangle. I'll drag the triangle over here, and it showed up yellow because we've got this fill that's yellow and it's making both of these things yellow. But now it's really confusing to figure out the difference between the ellipse and the triangle. So let's drag in another fill and make it a party color. The triangle function looks a little intimidating because it's got six parameters here. And before we were only dealing with four. Now these parameters, as you can see above, it's that x1 and the y1, the x2 and the y2, and the x3 and the y3. What does that actually mean? It's the three pairs of coordinates for each point of the triangle. So this point, and this point, and this point. Now it's not obvious when you look exactly which one is which point. So you have to kind of look at the numbers and look up here and kind of figure it out. So the first one is 2020. And this here looks exactly like point 2020, right? Because it's 20 pixels over, 20 pixels down. This one is 100, 100. Well, that looks like this point here, 100 pixels over, 100 pixels down. And then this one, that leaves the last point, 250, 50. So it's 250 pixels over from the left and 50 pixels down. So those are our coordinates. And if we want to change our triangle to be in a different place, we need to figure out which of the coordinates to change and by how much. Or we just play with the numbers. So I'm going to make a party hat, and I think this is in a good spot, so I'm going to leave the 100, 100 the way it is. But this right here needs to move way over here. So that means changing the x, because this is our x direction. I'm going to go here and just move it over. Okay, that looks good. And now I want to bring this one down and out a bit. So let's see. Let's go down and then I want it to be wider. That looks cool. I'm just gonna move this X over a bit. Okay, beautiful. Now he's got a party hat. And yes, the triangle function, it is confusing. It's got a lot of numbers and you have to do a lot of playing around. And this is once again a situation where I love to draw out my shape on paper first and figure it out. But you can also sit there and, and play with those numbers on the screen. And hey, once you've made a few triangles, you're going to be an expert at coordinates. Go for it.